What's up, doll collectors and gift givers? Today we are taking a look at Barbie Film Director. Love this. I bought this online at Target for $14.99. This mini career playset comes with some really fun accessories. On the back of the box, it says, When a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. A film director is someone who oversees the creative and technical direction of a film. They lead with a production team while working with every member of a film crew to turn a story into a movie. Directors take on many roles while making a movie. During a production, directors work with script writers to write and edit a script. They direct actors and manage the technical crew on sound, lighting, camera placement, and set design. Do you like creating and sharing stories? You can be a film director. I love bringing my own stories to life, so this playset is totally speaking to me. Let's get this out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, you get Barbie wearing pink headphones, a faux denim top that's made out of a knit material. It has printed details like buttons and pockets. This shirt has a collar and it velcros in the front. She wears faux denim black jeans. They are fitted and velcro in the back. There is printed distressing on the jeans and she wears a pair of white shoes. Now let's check out the articulation. She has movement at the head, shoulder, hip, and knee. Oh yeah! I would have liked to have seen an elbow and wrist joint, but you know, that's just me. Crazy about articulation. She also comes with a red director's chair. This little footrest can fold up and the chair does collapse. Pretty cool. There is a rectangle of paperboard that says script confidential on the front. A black clapboard where the top actually moves. Unfortunately, looks like mine got a little smeared. Hmm. In the target description, it is listed as a movie slate. Action. And this set comes with a large movie camera, just like the one from the Barbie news reporter set. There is a little bracket on the side so the doll can hold it. Since she comes with a chair, it's awesome that they gave her knees that can bend so she can sit in the chair. Give her the script and she looks all professional. You know, we've made a couple of these items in the past. Maybe we should find them and do a little versus. Here is our director's chair from our doll backstage dressing room video. We used skinny sticks and ribbon and hot glue to make our chair. And it does sit a little lower than Barbie's. Ours doesn't fold up. Whereas theirs does fold up. So yeah, Barbie got me there. And they have this little footrest thing. Yeah, I didn't do that either. But the doll can sit comfortably in both chairs. I probably should have used a wider ribbon on the back. A script. Didn't we make a script once? We did! In the Darby Show off script, we made a miniature script that is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. It says The Darby Show on the front by Froggy. It says Producers My Froggy Stuff at the top. The page is all aged looking. That's cool. And look at that. It has pages. You can open the script and read what is inside. That is so cool. This was written a long time ago. It was before we started writing like real stories in our mini books. It's pretty much rambling. I mean, if you start right here, it says, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. No, you're awesomer. No, 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 you're the awesomest. Wait, what are we talking about? Yeah, I was just trying to get words on the page to look like, you know, words on a page. But I like the fact that the DIY script can open and you can read it, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. Ready, set, 
action! The clapboard. We made a clapboard in our Monster High screening room video. We made two, one that opens and one that doesn't. Unfortunately, I can't find the one that opens right now, so I just have the one that stays closed. But this is a printable, so I can just print off another one. Cut it out, glue it onto a few layers of black cardstock, cut them out. We have two long pieces for the top. One has a slightly shorter end than the other. Glue the shorter end onto the top of the board. Take the other one and place it on that little tab raised right there. I use a push pin to make a hole. Run a small piece of wire through the holes. Curl the ends. Make sure the wire lays flat to attach the top. And now our clapboard opens and closes. We can use chalk or a colored pencil to fill in the board. Clapboards, check. Up next is headphones. We made a video a while ago for a doll headset, so we are totally going to use that. It has some comfy foam for the ears and a little microphone. That was easy. Whoa, the camera. Yeah, that's a lot of work. We made a camera a while back in our Monster High screening room video. It has not held up the best. Yeah, the top pretty much just came off. It was made from an empty spool of thread, a toothbrush cover we got from the dollar store, two buttons, and some plastic straws. Let's spend a little time repairing it because I like the fact that it is on a stand. I am replacing the straws with three bamboo skewers. I'm gonna cut them to seven inches using wire cutters, glue all three, to a button. Now we can stand it up and it works. Take the leftover pieces. We are going to need them to meet in the middle for a little stability. So let's cut them to one and a half inch pieces. Glue the three of them together, then glue them to the legs of the tripod. Now it's nice and stable. My tripod has little feet, so I'm gonna glue these buttons onto the bottom. Remove the toothbrush holder or cover from the old stand and let's glue it onto the new one. Cut a leftover piece of the bamboo skewer, glue it onto the bottom. So we had a little situation. I was trying to fix one of these, it came off, it ripped the paint, then I had to take all the paint off. So that's where we are now. And now we have to glue these back on. But before we do, I'm gonna stack and glue some more buttons on top. I added one button right on top, then punched out a hole from some black cardstock, and I'm gonna glue it right over the holes of the button. Repeat for both sides, then glue them on top. Glue the empty spool back on the front, cut a leftover bamboo skewer, roll paper around it, glue a bead onto the end, glue it onto the side of our camera. Add a few more beads here and there, a couple drops of hot glue, and let's wrap some of this handle with white paper. In hindsight, I should have wrapped it before I glued it on. Paint it black. This is probably going to need a few coats. I think we're totally getting a vintage camera vibe. I want the details to stand out a little more, so I lightly brush it with a little silver paint, just to make things kind of pop. That is so much better. Now we can totally see some of those details. So now we have vintage camera versus modern camera. I really do like the modern camera, but we've got a stand, so that's gotta give me a few points. Barbie's box shows us the inside of a studio, so we're gonna make a quick background to, you know, sell the scene. Take a piece of foam board, score a line going right down the center. I'm cutting through the foam board, but not all the way through. So I can bend it to make a corner room. Cover the inside with a brick scrapbook paper to be the walls of our studio. I cut a 12 by 12 square of foam board and an eight by 12. 
glue the 12 by 12 on top of the 8 by 12, leaving about an inch and a half in the back. So this is the front and this is the back. Glue square wooden dowels onto the back. Glue skinny sticks going across and some cut popsicle sticks angled on the bottom to create the back of our very small set that we can place in our little studio. Use poster putty to attach scrapbook paper to it. So our director has a mini set to film movies on. Since we use poster putty on the background, we can switch it out to make different scenes. This came out pretty cute. I am very proud of our vintage camera. We originally made it six years ago, so it was totally due for a makeover. But we were able to salvage most of it and add to it for a little more detail. Yeah, so this video totally turned into a versus. And it's really cool that we had some of the accessories already made. I do like that Barbie's chair is higher and can collapse, but I am digging that vintage camera. Thank you for joining us for this unboxing that turned into a versus. Let us know in the comments down below if we came close or if we missed the mark. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and TheFrogVlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!